Hi, so in this example, we're going to discuss how many passwords possible given certain characteristics. So we know that a computer password has to be eight characters long. And in those eight characters, um, it has to be one letter from the alphabet and seven digits where no repetition of any letter or digit is allowed. So um, here we can see it's asking for how many passwords. So we're just going to use multiplication, right? And there's a couple of ways to do this. There's a couple of things we know. We know there are 26 letters in the alphabet to pick from. We also know that there are 10 digits, um, 0 through 9. So there's the first way we could do this, way number 1, right, is drawing out eight hangman character symbols. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And this one I'm gonna say is a letter, and this one is a digit, 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 digit. And now we need to ask ourselves that if no repetition of any letter or digit is allowed, so that means that Um, without replacement, and does order matter? When I am doing or p typing in a password, do those characters matter which order it's in? So if my password was 1234, could I enter 4321 and I would get into my bank account? Absolutely not, right? Passwords mean that order matters. It's a password, right? So without replacement and order matters, should come the idea of the light bulb kind of coming out and saying, ooh, I know what this one is. This one's going to be a permutation. Now, how many letters are in the alphabet? Well, 26. How many digits um, are there to pick from for that first digit that we will not use again? 10, and then 9, and then there's only 8 left. Uh, seven, six, five, four. Okay, and this is the multiplication rule, and so we can go ahead and just put this in our calculator. So we would have 26 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. Right? Yes. And that gives us 15,724,800 different ways. So 15,724,800 ways I could make an eight character password out of one letter and followed by seven digits. So the second way is maybe quicker. I don't know, it just depends the way you learn, right? The second way is you think of, well, I have one letter and seven digits. This means that I have 26 letters, pick one, times 10 digits, pick seven. And so if I did this product in the calculator, you know, I could go to permutations in my stat menu and go to 26 pick one times back to function stats permutation 10 pick seven digits and notice I get the same exact uh, number of ways that we could do this um, sequence right 15 million seven hundred twenty four million eight hundred so if you decide to use just the permutation formulas um, you get the same thing with using the multiplication rule. Um, and if you choose to do the hangman spaces um, and just filling in the numbers, that also works too. This is the beauty of the multiplication rule that there's so many ways to just count, right? Okay.